The Supreme Court has just overruled New York's ridiculous, stupid, and honestly embarrassing gun laws. Let's celebrate this. Let's dive into it. To the decision by the Supreme Court overturning New York State's guidelines on concealed guns in public. In a 135 page ruling, the High Court struck down the century old law, claiming it violates constitutional rights. The court was split down ideological lines. The six conservative leaning justices voting to overturn the law, the three liberal leaning justices voting to uphold it. Now, the Supreme Court has overturned New York's absolutely stupid, foolish, retarded gun bill. And I'm I'm ready to dance on this shit. I'm ready to turn up because this is this is good news. So, New York has very subjective gun gun laws. Let's let's take a look at them. Clear. Multiple justices were skeptical of New York's pistol permit laws, which required applicants to prove they faced special or unique danger and had proper cause to get a carry permit. Now. These gun laws are childish. It's like something that somebody who watches movies, who thinks that life is a movie would create. You can have the right to defend yourself, but you gotta prove to us that you really need it. Like, do you really need to defend yourself? Like, do you really need to? I know that at any moment you could be robbed, raped, and mugged, but I mean, if that's not happening like right now, then you don't really need the gun. If it does happen, you can always call 911 and ask us for a gun. They're absolutely insane. As if life threatening events are scheduled like it comes in the mail like dear john we're going to kill you on thursday figure out what you're going to do about that when has that ever happened when is two dudes who is, who's going to jump you or rob you send you a text a week before like hey bro just letting you know bro when you go to olive garden bro we're going to come in there and shoot it up bro because we got beef with you what so anyways it's insane to me that the only way you could get a gun is if you're basically a criminal. Those are the only people who can really sit there in front of the cops and say, yeah, bro, my life is really in danger, bro. I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. It's dudes trying to kill me, bro. Then the only dudes who can really sit there and say that their lives are in danger. The dudes shooting up the community. The dudes that got ops, right? I mean, let's keep it a thousand. Those are the only dudes who can walk up in the precinct and say, officer, I'm honest to God, my life is in danger. Dude here trying to kill me. Dude over there trying to kill me. Is that snitching? Whatever. Dude over there trying to kill me. I need a gun. Technically, you gotta. You basically gotta be a snitch if you're a street dude to get a legal firearm. You basically gotta tell the police, yeah, bro. The ops, they they trying to kill me. They they posted on Twitter they was gonna kill me. Uh, can I get a gun? What? This is a like. Do y'all like those of y'all that are from the south like me? Can y'all like fathom the childishness of these laws? It's absolutely insane. So. Brett Kavanaugh, uh, one of the Supreme Court justices, goes on to ask, why isn't it good enough to want to defend oneself if you live in a dangerous area? Good enough to say I live in a violent area and um, I want to be able to defend myself. Then Biden, your boy Biden, all y'all who thought that y'all made the, the lesser of two evils, the, the all of y'all who love Joe, your boy came out and said that this is the antithesis of common sense and violates the Constitution. Quote, it contradicts both common sense and the Constitution and should deeply trouble us all. He urged states to pass new laws and also called on Americans across the country to make their voices heard on gun safety. So New York is in is in a really precarious position because the audacity of y'all to strip your citizens of the right to defend themselves unless you give them permission to. Who do, who do, who excuse my language? Who in the hell are y'all to tell the, the citizens of New York they can't defend themselves unless they have a reasonable a, a reasonable uh, uh, some sort of some sort of evidence of a threat against their life? Therefore, they're allowed to hold a gun. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? As if the only people who are going to follow that law. Like, the only people who are going to follow that law are law-abiding citizens in the first place. People who aren't in danger 24-7, but would like to be prepared in the event that danger comes knocking on their door. Why can't American citizens be prepared for the day that, one, you know, for the time that one day violence visits them? Why do they need your permission, the state, to give them a, a, a pat on the head and tell them when it's time to defend themselves? What are y'all, daddy? New York tripping right now. And on top of that, New York has the audacity to have Marine Corps, Army, Navy, and Air Force recruiting officers in their state. So these people are grown enough to go fight and die. 
if I recall correctly, New York also has a National Guard. So 18 year olds are grown enough to join up and die for New York State, but they're not grown enough to defend themselves from violence. Despite the fact that New York has a crazy gang problem right now, a crazy drill culture problem right now, and still has the audacity, the unmitigated gall to sit there and tell its citizens, you can have a gun if we say so. What kind of world are we in? This is like, this is crazy to me. Like, I can't even fathom this. Like, this is, this is insane to me that New York is really doing y'all like that. That New York is really, like, really, they really punking y'all. Like, <laughs> like let's, let's give it a buck. Like, they really punking y'all right now. Like, imagine the state looking you in the face and telling you, yeah, you can go off and die and get blown up by Ahmed and his homies and all of that. You can get blown up by Jahid and his homies over in Iraq and Afghanistan. You can get blown sky high. You can get hit with IEDs, RPGs, all type of stuff. But if you think for one second you deserve to protect yourself from the Crips, the Bloods, the the Norteños, whatever gang, whatever gangs, the Aryan, Aryan Brotherhood, whatever biker, white supremacist biker gangs, you think you deserve to protect yourself from these groups? Are you crazy? We decide whether you get to protect yourself from these groups. Oh, and by the way, we're never going to like ever, 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 ever like hit them with all with mass Rico. We're never going to really clean up the streets of New York. We're kind of just going to let these guys kind of operate. But you still can't have a gun to protect yourself. What on God's green earth was New York thinking for all these years? It's good to see something good come out of this Supreme Court justice little group right here. Good to see something positive come. Rashad Crenshaw, get in the comment section. I'll holla at y'all later.